Nigeria, former colony of the British Empire, amalgamated to be stronger as a whole, a land filled with wonder. Come with me as we discover the fascinating and wonderful cities of this great nation. We begin our journey in the northwest, in the ancient city of Kano, which was made the seat of northern government after being captured by the British in 1903. This part of the country boasts of the Dalla Hills, an archaeological site of settlement dating back to the 10th century. Kalmi Market, one of the largest and oldest markets in Africa. A trip further down into Niger State, popular for its serene and tranquil surroundings, is the perfect destination for nature lovers. With Guraro Falls, which span 200 meters across and a 30 meter drop, the calm waters in the raining season and the slow flowing water in dry season, coupled with the awesome display of exotic birds. It's truly an experience you would not soon forget. The national stadium located in Abuja, the rapidly developing federal capital territory of Nigeria, serves as a home to the Nigerian national football team, the Super Eagles as well as a center for various social, cultural, and religious events. Moving further down to the north central part of the country, we discover the river Niger and Benue confluence at Lokoja, one of the ten confluences around the world. Did you know that the name Nigeria is derived from the river Niger? Tourists may enjoy boat rides along the river Visit historical relics such as the cenotaphs where memorabilia from World War I and II are on display. Lokoja is filled with several museums, cemeteries and home of notable emirs. Come and walk in the steps of the famous Mungo Park and discover this unique city. The northeast of the country is filled with attractions for safari tourists. If you want to hear a real-life lion growl, then the Yankari Games Reserves in Bauchi State is just where you should be. This wildlife park is home to a vast population of lions, elephants, buffaloes, and hippos. Did you know UNESCO has listed the Madagali local government area in Adamawa State on the World Heritage List? Located here is the Palace of the Hidi, a native chief. Located in Oshobo, the southwest region of the country, in a dense forest, is the Oshun Oshobo Sacred Grove and is regarded as the abode of the goddess of fertility, Oshun, also known as Yeye, one of the important Yoruba gods. Little wonder it has been on the UNESCO World Heritage List. For travelers curious about religious sanctuaries, shrine sculptures, and artworks in honor of Oshun, this is one travel destination you must see. Not too far from Oshobo are the Ikagasi Warm and Cold Springs in Ekiti State. Located in a valley, two springs flow separately and join in the pool, with each retaining its thermal identity. The pool is widely believed to have therapeutic effects that relieve some form of ailments. We say, why choose hot or cold when you can have both? And you can even take it home with you in a glassy bottled water. In Lagos, the former capital of Nigeria, the National Theatre stands. Built during General Gowon's administration, to host the 1977 African Festival of Arts and Culture, also known as Festac 77. It is now home to galleries containing modern art and local crafts. If Mount Everest seems too daunting, never fear, for in Kalaba, the urban hills reside, adjoining the Krupp National Park in Western Cameroon, a neighboring country. Surrounded along the north, 
by the Cross River and drained by the Calabar and Kwa Rivers. There is too much to explore. In Calabar, the National Museum Old Residence stands, a building that was prefabricated in Britain and then shipped down in pieces and erected on top of a consular hill in 1884 and was the seat of colonial administration for the Southern Protectorate of Nigeria at the time. To Oweri Ezukala in Anambra State in the southeast region we go. There resides the majestic Obauku Cave and Waterfalls. The Obauku is a dome of naturally carved rock formation which features cave tunnels in different directions, crevices and wells. At the entrance of the cave is a waterfall gushing from a spring and tap, flowing down to form a natural beach at the bottom of the waterfall due to the sand area at the bottom. The locals believe the cave is the home of the god, Owere Zukala, performing an annual festival called Aja Longwito to appease the god. Your journey won't be complete until you see the panoramic view of Enugu from atop the Ugweme and Udi Hills. This area is rich in natural resources such as coal and iron ore, which were discovered by a British team of miners sent by the colonialist government. Come along and see what you may discover. Bye. <laughs> 